Okay, welcome to the next video on combinations. Um, here's the example that I'm going to go over today. And that is, how many ways can you select five people where three are boys and two are girls? Okay, well, since we're in the permutation and combination series, we have to determine which one is this. Is it a combination or is it a permutation? So let's take an example because, again, if you aren't sure which one it's going to be, give yourself an example. So here's one of them. Okay, so I have my five people here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I'm representing boys and girls by uh, squares and circles. Okay, so here's one particular selection. So now what happens if this selection uh, was switched around, meaning the order is a little bit different. So an example would look something like this. Now take a look at these closely. They do match up. This is the exact same uh, selection of squares and circles. So we got this color here, uh, the white square, the white triangle, and so on. So everything matches up. Okay, so, oops. So pretend like you made a, a selection of five people uh, for a committee. Okay, and here's one particular selection. So now what if the next day the committee meets again and they're just sitting in different seats? Would you come in and say, hey, wait a minute, this is a different group of people? No, you're not. I mean, it's the exact same selection. The order doesn't matter. And when order does not matter, we are dealing with combinations. Okay, so let's get started. Now, since we've figured out that these are going to be combinations, we know that order does not matter. In fact, since order does not matter, we can make this a little bit easier and separate them into two, kind of two groups where we have the boys right here and then over here we could have the girls because again the order doesn't matter so over here on the left we'll have the boys over here on the right we're gonna have the girls alright so let's let's take one of these examples let's take uh, this one right here and let's uh, let's put them down here into one selection okay so I've moved them down into their their groups but again Order doesn't matter, so we could have the three boys on the left and the two girls on the right. Uh, so I can get rid of this up here. Okay, now, now that I got them into two groups, you can treat these as tasks. Okay, we have two tasks, picking the boys and then picking the girls. And since the order in which I pick them doesn't matter, we have, again, two tasks, boys and then the girls. So now the question is, how many ways can I pick three boys? And how many ways can I pick two girls? Well, we've determined that the order in which we pick the boys and girls don't matter. Does the order in which I just pick the boys matter? So is, for example, is this selection with the white, I think that's uh, like a purple and yellow, is this any different than the following? And you can see that it's not. So the number of ways we can pick the boys is going to be a combination as well. So both of these are going to be combinations because it doesn't matter in which way we pick the boys as long as the three boys we pick are the same. So this is going to be a combination. So how many ways can we select three boys? All right, then. Well, we have three. How many boys total can we pick from? And that was four. And how many are we selecting? Three. For the girls, how many can we choose from? And that was three. And how many are we picking? Two. And since these are two tasks, what we're going to do is multiply these two together to get the total number of tasks. So how many ways can we select three boys from the four? So four choose three. It's going to be four. And then when you do 3, choose 2. Again, I just do this on your calculator, but you will get 3. So final answer, the number of ways I can select 5 people, or 3 are boys and 2 are girls, would be 12. Okay, so we're going to uh, change the question up a little bit. Let's say uh, instead of having 4 boys and 3 girls, let's say this was a club, and the club got a little bit more popular. So now you have a couple more boys and a couple more girls, so let's add them into the, the picture here. Okay, so it looks like we added three additional boys and three additional girls. So same question, 
How many ways can you select five people where three are boys and two are girls? So again, order does not matter. So we have two tasks. We have our boys. And then we have our, a second task, which is picking the girls. So how many ways can we pick the boys? And again, these are combinations because the order doesn't matter. So how many do we have to choose from? And now we have seven. How many boys are we picking? Again, we're picking still three. And then how many girls do we have to pick from? And that was six. How many are we picking? We have two. So let's figure out what these are. So seven choose three. And that's 35. And then six choose two. That equals 15. So then 35 times 15 equal 525 ways. Or we can say or groups or committees or whatever this question was intended to ask. Okay, so this would be an example of a combination where the selections can be broken up into separate groups. And so we can do our task method. Once you've broken it up into separate groups, use the combinations to figure out how many ways you can do each task, then multiply them together. OK, next question. So we got a bowl of fruit. And in that bowl of fruit, you have six bananas, two apples, five oranges, and 16 grapes. So my question is, how many ways can you select two bananas, two apples, three oranges? Notice I, don't, I didn't write zero grapes, but that's assumed. You're picking zero grapes. So we have technically four tasks. OK, so we have the banana task. I'll put a B. Then we have the apple task. Then we have the orange task. And then we actually do have the grape task. Now, since the order in which you pick them does not matter, all of these are going to be combinations. OK, so we're going to pick two bananas. So how many ways can I pick two bananas from the six that I have? Okay, and that's going to be six choose two. How many ways can we pick two banana or two apples from the two apples we have available? Well, that's just going to be two choose two. How many ways can we pick three oranges from the five oranges available? And that's going to be five choose three. And then we are actually picking zero grapes. So we have 16 available. And I'm picking none of them. All right, so now that I have the number of ways of picking or selecting each fruit, let's just multiply all these together, see what we get. So 6 choose 2, that's going to be 15. 2 choose 2, it's going to be 1. 5 choose 3, that's going to be 10. And 16 choose 0, that is going to be 1. So the number of ways of picking this selection here will be 150 ways. OK, let's change it up a little bit. OK, so let's consider this our final question. How many ways can you select eight fruit where three are grapes? Notice that I'm not actually saying anything about the apples, the oranges, or the bananas. And that's OK. So we technically have two tasks. So two tasks. All right, we have the grapes task. And then we have another task, which is just everything else. Because I'm not being specific enough. So really, when you look at this bowl, for this question, all I'm looking at is grapes and everything else. All right, so then how many grapes do we have to pick from? I was 16, and I want to select 3. And then how about everything else? Well, we got 6 bananas, 2 apples, and 5 oranges. So that's 13 fruit. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm not being specific. So we're going to be selecting 13. Or I'm sorry, selecting 5. There we go. Because there's 3 grapes, which means there has to be 5 of something else. And of that five, it's coming from the 13 other fruits. That again, could be bananas, oranges, or apples. Okay, so then let's see what this is going to be. 
16 choose 3, that's going to be 560. And then 13 choose 5 will be 1,287. So overall, you multiply these two together, you're going to get 720,720 ways. So that's quite a few ways. Uh, so just one more time, how many ways can you select eight fruit, three are grapes? So you have two categories, two, two tasks, selecting the grapes, selecting everything else. I'm picking three grapes, which means I have to pick five of something else. And since we're not distinguishing between bananas, apples, and oranges anymore, we have a total of 13 non-grapes, and I want to select five of them. Okay, so there you go. That's a, a, another example of combinations, one where it's a little bit more difficult.